Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Rule Breakers is here. Now, I'm recording this video slightly early, but today is Friday, and I want to talk about a few things with Rule Breakers dropping today. I want to talk about some predictions I have for the market for this game, and actually kind of remember last year in a sense too, not to say that it could repeat itself, but last year on Rule Breakers Day 1 was an insane insane day. I want to take a look at a prediction for some of the cards that could be coming today. Of course, I know I don't see that loading screen yet because I'm recording this really early, um, but I think there's a lot to talk about in terms of supply once again on this game because of what happened last Friday with Road to the Knockouts and the 50k packs that they put out. Are they going to outdo themselves and do 100k packs? Today on Friday, I mean, there's saved up packs from people doing marquee matchups and from people saving their rivals rewards. So what is going to happen today on Friday with a lot of this game? I know a lot of you guys have invested in cards like Road to the Knockouts and stuff that are out of packs. What's going to happen with those cards? I want to speak on that today as well. So as we get into the video, make sure you hit a thumbs up on it and of course, subscribe if you are new. But I want to start off today by looking at a prediction, a, right? a little prediction on some of the rule breakers players that we could have today. Again, some of these cards that I'm excited for the players that will be coming out because of the potential crazy stat boosts that we should see, right? We looked at this on yesterday's video, just the stat boosts that we could see could be insane, right? Lewandowski with a nice pace and a dribbling boost, right? To make his card more agile, drop his shooting even a little bit, but boost the dribbling, right? That's what they did last year with rule breakers, Harry Kane, um, you know, maybe make some more of like a defensive center mid. I don't know. There's like Golovin in here. That's a pretty nice upgrade to his defense, right? They could maybe drop his shooting a bit and raise his defense. A Pedri card would be sick. There's so many potential crazy options that we could see as a part of rule breakers. Of course, as we looked at last year's team and as we saw what they did, right? They kind of do some crazy stat boosts. Um, you know, Kane got lower shooting, but they really, really boosted his pace and his agility and bound. So I'm excited to see what cards come out today. But regardless, alongside of the cards that come out in packs today, as it always is on a promo Friday, we will see an SBC player and an objective player. I would almost 100% guarantee that we would see an SBC player and an objective player today on the game. Last year, if you remember, we had two really, really solid cards released on Rule Breakers Day 1 as an objective and as an SBC. Last year on Day 1 of Rule Breakers, we had the first ever player pick SBC. I, I believe this was one of the first ever, if not the first ever SBC like this, where you had two different choices of Inaki Williams. One that had higher dribbling and lower shooting, and another one that had higher shooting and lower dribbling. And this SBC was awesome because a lot of people were like, man, which fits the meta better? Which one fits my team better? And it was a decent price. So a decent amount of people did it. So we had that last year as an SBC. And then we also had this Mookie LA in objectives, right? That's a really solid objective card. I remember doing this objective and using it for a while in my team. A lot of people like this Mookie LA item. Now, of course, we already have Mookie LA and Inaki Williams this year in the game, but that just gives you an idea of some of the cards that we could see. We could see a really nice set of SBCs today and a really nice objective player. So I would be on the lookout for that. I think people are hoping for a bit better uh, SBC and objective player after what we've had recently, right? We have had the uh, the, the, the Crusa objective and the Andre objective, which were both just not up to par. The SBCs have been fine, but the objectives this year so far have been not good, and hopefully this can be a turning point today. Now also, you, you see this in the title from last year's video, the servers last year when rule breakers dropped right away, when rule breakers dropped, yes, last year, the servers were down for like six to eight hours. It was crazy, right? The servers went down for a super duper long time. Now, I don't think that was caused by just so many people being on the game of FIFA. I think there was actually some EA issues in there as well. But I think last year, that was the first promo Friday where we had like such a big server outage and that it became like an issue like for multiple Fridays after that because of the FIFA traffic that was getting on the game. So I'm not saying that history is gonna repeat itself today on Friday, but I'm just saying watch out for it, right? Watch out for that potential of it happening. Again, so 
probably 11 cards in packs day. That's what they've been doing. And, you know, maybe a Sunday mini release of like three or four. We'll look into that as well over the weekend and see what they, if they mention that at all on like the promo page that they released with the content today. Uh, again, objective, SBC, both of those I would expect 100% coming today. Now, let's talk about supply for a second, right? In the store, we had 50K packs last week for the first time. RTTK Team 2, we had 50K packs and it destroyed the market. And there was just like five 50K packs per account. It wasn't lightning rounds. It was a five pack limit per account for the whole weekend they put them out. And so that leaves us thinking today on Friday, are they going to do 50K packs again? Are they going to take the level up to 100K packs? I'm really curious to see what they do in the store today. And that's going to dictate a lot of what prices do today as well. Of course, if they do 50K packs or 100K packs, uh, which I think we will get at least 50k packs again, that's just going to cause so much supply to come to this market. Now, we know that gold cards drop a lot on Fridays anyway, right? Now, some of these gold cards that have risen up a little bit after rewards, uh, of course, we've got a lot of market movements with rewards and with the marquee matchups SBC. Now, I bought Goretzka's at 81 to 82,000 coins last night, and he is up to 88k, so that is a dub. But, you know, cards like this or cards like Bruno Fernandez, who just like seemingly keeps dropping on this game. How much is Bruno? Is he over 50K? So he rose a little bit today, GG's. 50,000 coins though for this Bruno, and we saw how much he dropped off last week. I mean, with, with more 50K packs coming today, I literally expect that drop off to probably be the same, if not more, as new cards come out of this game. This drop alone, check this out, 64K down to 50. 15,000 coins was literally caused last weekend by, by this Bruno, by that 50k pack. Now, the, the Bernardo Silva SBC probably hurt his price a little bit as well. But I mean, if you look across the entire game, like all these gold cards dropped off a lot last week, especially on the lower tier range, uh, just because that 50k pack supply, right here we go, 13k all the way down to like 10k on the weekend. So a decent drop for this Kunde card. It's going to happen again if we get 50k packs. You're just going to have to pick your spots, right? You're going to have to pick your spots, and you're going to have to find cards that will bounce back uh, because of whatever's hype, right? If they release a Premier League SBC, we've had the Bernardo Silva, so that is kind of hype right now. A lot of Brazil links are pretty hyped up as well. But with, again, with gold cards, I just see a big drop again, like we'd see every single week in the first you know, couple hours. And then maybe on Saturday and Sunday, they start to rise back up a little bit in price. Now let's talk about the team of the week right quick. Team of the week six has gone up a lot since rewards. Uh, they're probably going to drop a little bit with marquee matchup supply. We already saw that. And then they're going to drop even more today. There's probably going to be some panic selling and some prices dropping off uh, after the content drop today on Friday with these cards just getting supplied, right? Salah 930. I don't think that's going to last. Even Uba Makano is up like 20k. That's not going to last either. I think he is going to drop off in price. Same thing with Alaba. Literally every card that is not discarded in Team of the Week is probably going to drop. And then I want to talk about first hour promo cards too because this is something that has been profitable the past basically every single Friday. Every single Friday, this has been a profitable flipping slash trading method on these cards. If you guys remember last Friday of UCL Road to the Knockouts Team 2, I was able to buy a Fred at 317,000 coins and three El Sharawi at 50K. I sold the Fred at 370K literally 15 minutes later, and I sold the El Sharawi from 50K up to 64,000 coins 15 minutes later as well. So watch out during that first 10, 15, 20 minutes of the supply today because you have saved up packs you're going to have either 50k or 100k packs in the store that is going to mean a lot of supply so what i want you guys to do is find the most hyped two or three cards that are a part of the promo today on friday if you want to risk this it's a bit risky because it doesn't always work sometimes it gets oversupplied and over invested or the hype is not there and you end up losing coins but this can be a very profitable method with the cards that come out today when we see the team in that first 10, 15, 30 minutes, watch out for some cards that get supplied so much right away because people run to open their packs and then you'll see them bounce back up as people finish opening their packs and they're like, man, I want to go on the market and try out some of these new cards because they look pretty cheap. So that's what I would say to you. Again, if you're looking for cards to do this with, let me just show you some of the ones that rose like last week with RTTK Team 2. Uh, a couple of the cards that rose last week were El Sharawi. Fred, I believe Jesus Navas did as well. Again, the 
rarity per position per league. Like this Fred, there was no other center defensive mid in the Prem except Conte after you go past like Gold Allen, right? There's a huge gap right there. And this Fred card slots in perfectly, right? So, I mean... Try to find a card today, like the Italian Lynx and the Serie A Lynx are pretty hyped up right now. Same thing with Brazil Lynx. So depending on what cards get in the team today, you can maybe make that decision if you want to try to risk it, buy a card low in the first 30 minutes and then sell it right after that, before the second hour. That's the sell time, right? I bought Fred at like 15 minutes after the content drop and I sold him 30 minutes after the content drops. So like 6.15, you p.m. UK, 6.30 p.m. UK. But that's how you can play around. It's risky, but that's how you can play around with the brand new promo cards that would drop today. Now, speaking of these cards, in a sense that these exact cards right here on your screen are out of packs. Road to the Knockouts and all other out of packs, informs, ones to watches, and team of the week cards. Anything that is out of packs. Really, really keep an eye on that this morning on Friday as we head into the day because, of course, when people start to figure out, there's probably going to be some leaks, right? There's probably going to be leaks posted on Twitter. I mean, that's how it is for, these, for promos these days. Nine times out of ten, there's no real surprise factor. We already start to know cards. But in general, people are going to start to sell off some of these special cards that are in their team or that people have invested in because they're worried that right a Rule Breakers card might come out. Let's talk about a Rule Breakers. If an Usman Dembele Rule Breakers would come out, it would hurt the price of this Rodrigo, right? Or if an, um, you know, a really high tier, like a Mane, I, I doubt Mane would get another special card, but a big time Prem left mid gets released, right? Then probably this Sonaldo is going to drop because you have like the same position in the same league with a brand new card that people want to go out and try. You'll see that item drop off in price on the market. People will sell ahead of time as well. So if you notice what cards have had nice rises after rewards, um, like let me show you one, for example, this Phil Foden Inform. 87,000 coins. This guy has risen up a lot since the Bernardo Silva SBC came out. He was down at 74K, boomed up to 85, and he continues to go higher today. Cards like this are the ones that are hyped up right now. If there's not another Prem left wing or an English left wing in this game, people are still going to be using Bernardo Silva in their teams because he's still fresh to the game. He's hyped. So those links to popular cards in the game still that rose up earlier this week, if there's no special cards that drop today, that would hurt those items, then you're going to see a rebound on those, right? I, I look at Andy Robertson, the left back, basically the only special left back in the Prem, 285K. He's had a huge rise. If he gets panic sold today and drops like 20, 30,000 coins, but there's no Premier League left back uh, that is in the team, and if they drop like a Premier League left wing or a center back or a center mid, any card that would link to this Robertson, you know, fairly well, then you could probably see his card bounce back. That would be one of the areas today that I would look on the market is the out of packs, especially the road to the knockouts and team of the weeks. And just re just kind of remember what stuff has risen in the past day or two. Look around, click into some footprint graphs. Look at cards that have done well. Tonali, right? 95,000 coins. He's up a lot since the El Sharawi came out and people are using this card a lot right now. If this was down to like 80K, Friday morning and there's no Syria like center defensive mids or center mids that you would be expecting to see but maybe there's like a Syria right back or, or center back that's you know rumored to be in the team this might be a card you look at picking up I know it sounds risky and it sounds scary but a lot there's only 11 cards coming into packs today right that's what we expect how are 11 cards going to impact like the 30s to 40s to all of, like the those many meta cards that are on this game right now? There's They're not all going to get affected. There's going to be a lot of cards today that get panic sold and then rise back up. So that would be the number one area where I would look today on the market. I would also look at the icons because icons have kind of continually dropped with supply but that has kind of made some prices go a little bit lower than maybe they should right you, you you have some brazilian icons right now that have maintained a pretty high price because of these very popular brazilian links with renan lodi with fred with marquinhos so guys like roberto carlos carlos alberto kaka all of your brazilian icons like this guy was 720k yesterday and he's 770 right now just keep an eye out for either right when the content drops maybe some fresh listings or people uh, listing these up and getting them supplied in the market which should happen a little bit with 50k packs and the market did drop icons last week uh, with the 50k packs but i would watch out for icon panic selling as always on this friday morning as well because i think there could be a decent bounce back now speaking of the bounce back 
I think you will see a best and a the quickest amount of a bounce back on cards in this game on those out of pack specials, right? The road to the knockouts, the informs that we just spoke about. Those are going to be the cards that you will see bounce back on the market first because they have no supply. And that's just pure demand uh, bringing them back, right? They're just pure demand if people wanted to buy them back for their teams and stuff like that. Um, so that'll be one thing that I would keep an eye out on is that pure just demand bouncing back these types of cards first. Then you'll see the gold cards start to bounce back. And then you're, you'll see the icons kind of bounce back then as well. As stuff gets rare into the evening, cards get rare. And then that's one thing you'll want to look for too with the brand new Rule Breakers cards um, is tonight, Friday night uh, as late, like late time. Like I'm talking midnight UK to 3 a.m. UK if you're around in those hours. Uh, that could be a time where you see some of these brand new Rule Breakers cards get kind of cheap after they get sold off and then potentially rebound into Saturday morning as people want to try those cards out for the weekend league. So I know, again, this video seems kind of weird because it's recorded a little bit early, but that's what I'm expecting today on Friday for the Rule Breakers promo. I'm excited, man. I'm really excited to see what cards are released, what's dropped, and the content that EA decides to put out today. I hope the servers don't crash, and I hope that they don't do 100K packs because I don't even want to see what this market's going to do if and when they release 100k packs on this game. But that's the video for today, boys. There will be a couple trading method videos coming out tonight, tomorrow on Saturday. Uh, two of them should be released, and then we'll be back analyzing the Rule Breakers promo um, after I get back from this short little uh, trip that I'm going on starting right now after I end this video. Uh, and then we'll be back to everything like normal on uh, Sunday morning. So that is the video for today, boys. I hope the promo is a big one. If you did enjoy, smash a thumbs up, comment down below if you have any questions, and of course, subscribe if you're new. It has been Nathan Foot Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace out.